All right, so we have a Mitsubishi electric unit that apparently isn't working and I'm here today to pull it out and replace it. So I haven't uh, done any like diagnostic work on this or anything. She's had someone else here. They've condemned it, um, quoted her on the unit, but she just wanted a second opinion and for whatever reason, She's calling with me, I don't know why. So, anyway, I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm just here to replace it. So it's absolutely beautiful winter's morning. Now this is on a roof. So I'm here by myself. Um, it's just a small two and a half kilowatt. So I'm gonna have to Put a drop sheet down, carry that over, and I've got my lifter to get it off the roof. So that'll be interesting. But doable. Um, um, it's just the back to back, so I might even take that security screen off. I don't know, I'll work it out it's just so I can jump in and out easier. But anyway, let's get to it get this thing changed over all right so I ran the unit and nothing happened out here but then when I took the electrical cover off none of the cables were connected so someone's um just disconnected it the indoor unit still runs because um I feel like this was originally a power to indoor unit and they've just run a cable outside and BP'd it out here and then the cable runs back inside so yeah anyway i'm gonna um take this off and back in the workshop i'm gonna set it up and make another video um trying to find out what the problem was but anyway for now i'm gonna um yeah so i've disconnected the electrics i've reclaimed it and got rid of the pipe i've set up my lifter so i'm going to um take these off get rid of it and then I'm gonna go turn the power off because no one seems to put isolators on these days so I'm gonna put in, sort out the power put it in an isolator so then I can turn the power back on for the customer and then I can you know get everything in position and yeah get it installed but yeah my main thing now is to take this off and then um get the power sorted so I can you know turn the power back on for them
All right, so this thing's on brackets. I, um, I'm about to put an oscillator on the wall. This one didn't have one, which is, to be honest, like pretty much every job I come across doesn't have one. So I, for that reason, I just keep, I like stock the oscillators in the car. So whenever I see it, it's not a big deal. Um, like I said, I hadn't been here before. So I haven't really checked out the job, but I've noticed that the brackets, you know, they've got a bit of surface rust on them. Absolutely still fine, but I would have just replaced them otherwise. Um, so I'm going to let the customer know that and we can always swap them over after, but I don't carry that in the car. So I just thought I'd mention that, um, but I do carry isolated. So I'm going to put one on the wall now, then go turn the power off and feed it in and yeah we'll go from there I don't know why these, why these brands make their indoor units so hard to get off. <laughs> Maybe I'm just not used to it, but... I don't know. I just feel like it could be easier. There I ended up getting it off. Basically, there's this tab that just comes off the bracket. Um, looks really easy from here but the fact that you need to take the front off to get in there to pull it down um it's you know, not the easiest and everyone's probably like why don't you pull that off it's because you can't get your fingers behind it when it's sitting flush with the wall um everyone raves on about Mitsubishi Electric and I really want to try a few I might just test it because I uh, hear really good things but um Dead set. All the older like brands, all the all brands when they're older used to have this same setup where you gotta take the bottom off first and then unclip the top. And it doesn't even give you access to much because they got this shit. I just feel like Dakin, they just were the first to make decent covers that just come off easy. They were the first to make splittable ducteds. Dakin's not what it used to be, but Fuck me, they'll definitely trend says. Anyway, yeah, I want to I want to try some Mitzi. Heard really good things.
player's done. Oh, I'm just going to flip this insulation over, cable tie it, and seal the hole. Now it's got an isolator, so it's good. Happy about that. All in. I don't normally carry this fucking monster. Um, I just got stitched up and they only had a D size bottle. I'm um, sorry, an E size bottle when I wanted a D. So, absolute nightmare carrying that around. But anyway, van life. 